Okay, so this week our anchor text is titled Jellies, the Life of a Jellyfish. Um, we are on lesson 10, which also means that we are, this is our last lesson in unit two, like I've said before. Doesn't really mean much for you, just means that I need to do a book change for me. Um, but we are at the end of lesson two. So we are about a third of the way through our journeys because there are 30 lessons. So we're about a third of the way through journeys. Okay, so next week we'll begin unit three. And so our anchor text this week is an informational text titled Jellies, the life of the jellyfish. Our first word is simple. I say, you say it simple. Simple. Let's clap the syllables in simple. Simple. How many syllables in simple? Two syllables in simple. Raise your hand if you've heard the word simple before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word simple means. What does the word simple mean? Leo, what do you think? Like not hard. Not hard? Does anybody have anything else that maybe we could add to that? Not hard is a pretty good definition. Milena? It doesn't have much to it. Okay, doesn't maybe have much to it. Okay, so it's not difficult, not hard, doesn't have much to it. Okay, it's easy. It's not complicated. Okay, so something that is easy or not complicated, doesn't have a lot of detail, not hard. So it would be the opposite of hard, right? Simple and hard would be antonyms, opposites. I say, you say it's simple. Simple. Our next word is millions. I say, you say it millions. millions. Let's clap the syllables in millions. Millions. How many syllables, Kira, in millions? Millions. Two syllables in millions. Raise your hand if you've heard the word millions before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word millions means. What do you think, Marina? Millions. Like a lot. A lot. Okay. Millions. Millions would simply just be a large number. Okay. It's a very large number. This is actually how you write the number one million. You'll notice that there are six zeros behind it. That's only one million. Okay, we could have upwards of 900 million, right? We could have 999 million. And then that next number would go to billions. But million, it, millions is just a large number. And this is how we would write million. I say it, you say it, millions. Millions. Our next word is weaker. I weaker. say it, you say it, weaker. 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 Let's clap the syllables in weaker. 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 How many syllables in weaker? Yazelle? Two. Two syllables in weaker. What's my root word or base word of weaker? What's my root word or base word of weaker? Marina, what's my root word or base word of weaker? Take off the ER and I get weak. Okay, now we're not talking about the days of the week, like seven days in a week. So raise your hand if you've heard the word weak or the word weaker. Raise your hand if you've heard either of those words. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word weak or weaker means. Baden, what does the word weak mean? Like, like when you wake up, you might feel weak. You might feel weak, okay, but what does it mean if someone says, I feel weak? What does that mean? Sophia? I'm sorry. Maybe sometimes when you, if you're sick, you might feel weak, okay? But what does it mean to feel weak? Adeline? Like you can't move. Like maybe sometimes you can't move, okay? You don't have what? Malena? You don't have strength, right? You're, you, you're not strong. Weak and strong would be opposites. So like, for example, when I go to the gym, if I'm lifting really heavy, if I'm lifting weights and I'm going really heavy, afterwards, if I go to try and lift even heavier, sometimes I might feel weak, weak because I went really, really heavy and then tried to go heavier and I couldn't do it. Okay, so the word weak or weaker simply means it's less strong. Okay, it's not as strong. So like, for example, if you break a bone, that bone might be weak for a while, okay? Like an eggshell is fragile, it's weak, it's not very strong, it's easily breakable. Can you wait for a second, please, thank you. I say, you say it weaker. Weaker. Okay, my next word is drift. 
I say it, you say it, drift. drift. Let's pop the syllables in drift. 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 How many syllables in drift, Leo? One. One syllable in drift. Raise your hand if you've heard the word drift before. This isn't a word that we hear very often. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word drift means. What do you think, Eli? You forgot. Adeline, what do you think? Okay, maybe it's slanted like you might have a drift, like a snow drift. Okay, it's moved. What do you think, Melina? Like it's kind of like in the air floating around. It's kind of floating. Okay, now oftentimes we could think of something, when I think of drifting, I often think of something being in the water, but something could drift through the air. Okay, so it simply means that it's floating around. Okay, so I have a boat there that's floating. I have a hedgehog that's kind of just floating in the water. Okay, so to drift, listen, please. Put your hand down, please. Drift simply means to float. It's just a synonym for float. I say, you say it, drift. My next word is wrapped. I say, you say it, wrapped. I say, you say it, wrapped. What sound do we hear at the end of wrapped? What sound do we hear at the end of wrapped, Eli? Wrapped. What sound do I hear? I hear the sound of T, the T sound. Okay, notice that my ED helps to make that sound. Um, let's pop the syllables in wrapped. Wrapped. How many syllables in wrapped, Braxton? One. One. What's my root word or base word of wrapped? Mario, what's my root word or base word of wrapped? Daniela, what's my root word or base word of wrapped? Wrap. Wrap is my root word or base word of wrapped. Notice that my W is silent. My W is silent. When W and R are together in a word, we just hear the sound of R. So my word is wrapped. Raise your hand if you've heard the word wrap or wrapped before. We're not talking about the music. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word wrap or wrapped means. What does that mean? Marina? Um, like on Christmas, when the when you do you put Santa for Thanksgiving, like the presents are wrapped, right? They're covered, right? When you wrap a present, you're covering it. Okay, so if you wrap something around something, you're basically covering it. So it's just covered. Okay, so oftentimes we, the best way for us to remember what the word wrapped means is to think of a gift being wrapped. I say it, you say it, wrapped. I say it, you say it, wrapped. My next word is disgusting. I say it, you say it, disgusting. Disgusting. Let's pop the syllables in disgusting. Disgusting. How many syllables in disgusting, Baden? Three syllables in disgusting. What's my root word or base word of disgusting? Alexa, what's my root word or base word of disgusting? Disgust, right? Something that's disgusting. The root word or base word is disgust. Raise your hand if you've heard the word disgusting before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word disgusting means. What does the word disgusting mean? Kira, what does the word disgusting mean? It's gross. Yeah, it's gross. If you think back to a couple of lessons ago when we had the vocabulary word rotten, okay, something that is rotten might be considered disgusting. Okay, so something that is disgusting is gross or sickening. Like a lot of garbage or cockroach. Ew, what is that? I say it, you say it, disgusting. disgusting. I say it, you say it, disgusting. disgusting. And my next word is choices. I say it, you say it, choices. Choices. Let's clap the syllables in choices. Choices. How many syllables, Abby, in choices? Two. Two syllables in choices. Raise your hand if you've heard the word choices before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word choices means. What does the word choices mean? E or Leo, or choice. Like, um, you choose 
choose. You choose something. You have options, like right? Lunch. You have one or the other. Like a lunch. Okay, so you have a decision to make. Okay, so for example, this person has three doors. They need to decide which door to go into. This person has three paths, deciding which path to go to. And then that map up here, not necessarily a map, a sign saying if you want to go to the grotto, you go this way. If you want to go to the arbor, you go this way. I say it, you say it, choices. Choice grotto? And our last word is decide. I say you say it, decide. 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 How many of us pop the syllables and decide? Decide. decide. Melena, how many syllables? Two syllables and decide. Raise your hand if you've heard the word decide before. Keep your hand up if you can tell me what the word decide means. Kind of goes along with our previous vocabulary word. To make a choice. choice. So these two vocabulary words kind of go together. To decide means to make up your mind about or to make a choice. Okay, I say you say it, decide. Decide. So like I said, our anchor text this week is an informational text about jellyfish.